All right, so the first thing we want to do is review the parts of an ATP molecule. There are three different parts, and so you have to be able to identify each part. The other thing you want to do is, th this is part of your notes. This thylakoid membrane diagram is part of your notes. You might see a diagram similar to that on the test, whereby you have to identify where the stroma is, where the thylakoid membrane is, Okay, you have to identify those stacks, et cetera. Okay, now I see people taking pictures. However, there is no need to take pictures because you have this in your notes. Okay, it's part of your notes. Next, which type of organisms can make their own food? What do you call those organisms? Which type of organisms eat other things to gain their energy? These are rhetorical questions. Again, which type of organisms must eat other things to get their energy? Name the molecules that are responsible for gathering light energy in the plant cell. Name the molecules that are responsible for gathering light energy. Name the organelle in the plant cell where light energy is gathered? Two different questions. One deals with the molecules. The other one deals with the organelle. Can you say that one again? Name the organelle that is responsible for gathering light energy. Prior to that, I said name the molecules that are in those organelles responsible for gathering light energy. Name the source that plants gain their energy from. What's the name of the source that plants gain their energy from? Describe where in the plant cell is the stroma located. Describe where in the plant cell you would find the stroma. Explain the function of NADP+. Explain the function of NADP+. What is H2O and CO2 changed to using sunlight and photosynthesis? What is H2O and CO2 changed to using sunlight and photosynthesis? Describe where the light-dependent reactions take place. Describe where the light-independent reactions take place. I mean specifically, you know, parts of the plant cell. List the products of the light-dependent reactions. Be able to list the reactants of the light-dependent reactions. List the reactants of the Calvin cycle. List the products of the Calvin cycle. What is another name? that is used for the Calvin cycle. What does an, an increased intensity of light do to the rate of photosynthesis? If I incre increase the light intensity, what will happen to the rate of photosynthesis? Which color does chlorophyll reflect? Which color is absorbed or which colors are absorbed best. Again, label the structures of a chloroplast. Which type of gases are utilized in photosynthesis? So which type of gas is taken in? Which type of gas is given off? Describe all of the reactants and products 
listed in the photosynthetic equation. Describe all of the reactants and products listed in the photosynthetic equation. Prior to that, I said which type of gases are utilized in photosynthesis. That means which gases are taken in and which gases are given off. Describe which photosynthetic process happens in the stroma. Describe which photosynthetic process happens in the thylakoid membrane. Again, I said identify the three parts of an ATP molecule. So make sure visually if you're given a picture and they don't have the three parts labeled. And in the multiple choice, they ask you part A is what, part B is what, part C is what, part D is what. Memorize the photosynthetic equation that is in our chapter notes. Which color is not absorbed well in photosynthesis? Might be the same one that is reflected. Identify the exact location where chlorophyll is found. The exact location within the plant cell where chlorophyll is found. Review figure 1.1. Figure 1.1, these are diagrams I'm going to go over that I want you to review and focus on. Figure 1.1 is on page 396. Review figure 2.1. 2.3 and 2.5. On page 411, question number 9, there's a picture of a chloroplast that would benefit you greatly if you label that picture. And then lastly, figure 3.2, which is a light-dependent reaction diagram and video, and 3.3, which is a light-independent diagram and video. So going back over those, figure 1.1, figure 2.1, 2.3, 2.5, then on page 411, number 9, the chloroplast picture. Number 9, the chloroplast picture. And figure 3.2, which deals with light-dependent reaction, and figure 3.2. Three, which is light independent reaction.